Hey everybody, welcome back to our D and D in We Play D and D Fifth Edition in I don't know what this is named yet. Uh, any ideas for what we should call this, guys? Nope. Shitstorm. <laughs> Something PG thirteen, please. Storm. Uh. No. I it too generic. <laughs> yeah. Well, I had an idea, but then I realized, uh, oh, it, that's about something very na naughty. Could have gone with a super high-intensity team. <laughs> <laughs> but, no. Uh, the game with soon to be named is not a bad name, to be honest. <laughs> For my lack of ability to name things, like, all my characters literally have, like, the same four names. My favorite character, just because, based on how I'm constructed his background, is Tim. I have a mystic by the name of Lupin Thorn. I have a Goliath whose name is Greg Fearless Thuligan. And a ranger who's a full-blooded human, and his name is basically JC. I... Those are my initials, basically. <laughs> oh, and I have a warlock who is... Well... Who goes by the... Mo who's a charlatan through and through. And goes by the moniker of Mo. Was originally Nemo. For little... Nemo. Yeah, little... Not, not the fish, but... Nemo's Adventures in Dreamland. Who's seen that? Oh god, I feel old now. Okay, so last time we left off, everybody had and had been basically pulled into Tim's demi plane. And all right. So as you are now in this demi plane. Oh, hello, cat. Anyway, <coughs> cat's sleeping under my desk. <clears throat> As you are in this demi plane, you find it completely just. It's not very big. You see, like, maybe. You see a bookshelf that has about 26 books and what seems like a n series of numbers. Numbers. A giant wardrobe in the back and a map of the world with a bunch of red lines connecting everything like one of those conspiracy buffs things <laughs> you see ground you see Tim in his old robes that those brown robes with the gold trim they are very tight on his new pudgier elven body so he walks towards the wardrobe opens it up and he walks in shuts the door behind him and apparently he's in there <laughs> now So, what do you do? Did I still, like, find a workshop and unlock it? There's no workshop here. There's... There is... This It's yeah. just basically a 30 by 30 room. <laughs> now. You do see a note on the bookcase. Do not read. Hmm. And you, you hear a weird moaning and groaning and sound. Is it like? It sounds like a um, groaning. Yeah. Is it like a dead? It it sounds it sounds undead ish. But you don't see it in fr in the front of you, to the sides, behind you. Uh, 
but you still hear it emanating from certain from a from a direction. You just don't know where. This room is like thirty by thirty by thirty. <laughs> I guess I could if you'll cast detect magic to see if there's something invisible in here. There's magical. Okay. You do that? Yep. Ten minutes go by. Tim still hasn't come back. The wardrobe is magical. The bookshelf, the books, the map, practically, and you're almost blinded by how much magic is in this room. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, it's like looking at the sun. It's like, ah! Yeah, I'm just gonna cancel the cell if I can. Okay. So, yeah, guys, basically everything in here is heavily magical. So. Um, I walk up to the bookcase. Here we go. <laughs> okay, what do you, you see basically on the top shelf one you, you can see. It's basically like it, it it shrinks down to meet your height, and the first the lettered books are from A to Z, and then the numbered books go from one to you can't even tell. It just seems to they they just seem to go on forever. Nobody has read this many books. Do you take one of I the mean, books? Seems like Finn's uh, a portal, he might have. That is true. I do... I... I just... Choose a random one and then I just pull it out and then just open it. Which, which one? A letter um, or a number? A letter. Okay, what letter? S. Okay. You open the book and it contains... At first, letters, and then the letters, all of them start shifting into... Make a constitution saving throw. Mm. I mean, it said not to read the books. Oh, shit. <laughs> you experienced every S me memory Tim has ever experienced. Oh shit! <laughs> a lot of oh shit moments. A lot of stuff that I didn't need to see. <clears throat> I put it back. I'm like, <laughs> don't open the book. Don't open the book. You saw a lot of sexy time, Tim. You you actually saw him wooing Tiamat in one instance. Mind you, Tiamat, the Draconic God. Yes. <laughs> Tim then comes out. He he's looking exactly like he does in the in the picture there now. <sighs> Ugh, finally. Well, the, I We're seem still to seeing the big world map. I'm not sure. I haven't come up with anything so. Yeah, so, me <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> okay? Uh, okay? He looks to, uh... He, he looks at Burial and he's like, You read one of the books, didn't you? I know. He just... He does that dad glare to you. It's like... You don't. are a freak. <laughs> <clears throat> I see you read S. He smacks you on upside the head. For let's see, where are my dice? Oh, here they are. Uh, all D and D games unofficially sponsored by Crown Royal, as always. Okay. No D six. What's your AC? 
14. Plus 10. No, 16. Uh, 18? I said it was 14. Oh, yeah. Okay. And that's a 1d1, which is a 1 plus 10. That's an 11. You take 11 points of, of bludgeoning damage. And now you don't have any memory of the moments of seeing what was in the S book. Except for, I don't want to read that. I don't want to read any of those books. Damn, kids. I, ha- I have the biggest headache. There is no pain, though. So... Well, actually, there is pain. It's right in one of your eyes. It's like... Have any of you ever had that kind of headache before? Yeah, that those suck. Ugh. Well. What do you think? It suits me? Tim's just, you know, looking over his um his new duds. They look very wizardry. Very wizard. Not wizard as in cool, but very much in line with what you'd think an atypical wizard would wear. Long flowing robes. The whole nine yards. It's very stereotypical. Ah, oh, damn it. <sighs> you know... I'm still trying to figure out all the ins and outs of the spell. Apparently, the old me wanted me to look more archetypal wizard. Mm. Sucks. Oh well. So, the wardrobe is a wardrobe of holding. Contains every article of clothing I've ever held and owned over the centuries, in any and all sizes. Those are all my memories. He's pointing at the bookshelf. What, you thought I kept all my memories up in here? He points to his head. No, no. This can't hold everything. So I constructed these books. It's taken an incredibly long time for such powerful artifacts. And not when you, not not really, not when you owe, not when you have a few <clears throat> debts with a few god, gods and goddesses. I wouldn't know much about that. I wouldn't want to know much about that. <laughs> and then at the very bottom is just a single book. It's a single, musty-looking tome. But it seems to... It it seemed that when you did your little detect magic, that radiated the most magic. And that is a map of the world. The red lines are every time I've are my it's my attempts at mapping the ley lines of the world and the ley points. As you can see, the red lines are where they originally were. The blue lines, which are not there, damn it! Somebody's been fucking with my damn map, <laughs> Vecna. <sighs> The whole room literally shakes after he says Vecna. <laughs> it's like, oh, that bastard. I'm going to rip his other fucking eye out of his goddamn skull and shove it up his... So fire up his ass and going to see his own teeth. Sorry, sorry. Long story. Anyway. We were going to nod, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I was going to take you to nod. 
and then you were going to live in one of the small outlying villages in Nod, where you would get certain, where you'd basically be adventurers for the town. Get a job there, yada yada yada. All right, out, 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 out. Start shoving you out. You see him reach down for that one book. That's where you went. What is that book? Spell book. Oh. <laughs> Must be a significantly powerful spell book to radiate its own magical aura onto itself. Yeah, I made the mistake of casting Detect Magic in here. It nearly gave me a headache. Can you still see? How many fingers am I holding up? He's holding up three. Three. Now, now, two. Two. Then he does. He cancels the spell almost immediately. He puts the book away into his robes, and then he holds up seven fingers on one hand. <laughs> okay, I might have not canceled it fast enough. No, no, no. He, he. How many do you see? Be honest. Seven. He looks at his hand. Okay. Puts his hand away, and it's back to normal. Oh, uh, that's not good, is it? No, you, you you said the right answer. I was just fucking with you. Alright, out, 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 that's out, out. Really out. Thing. Don't worry. I'm Tim. When has Tim ever done anything terrible to the world? The moment he's, you see, he says that, you are reminded of the terrible king of Nod, who basically sacrificed an entire city to bring back someone. And you think this might have been Tim. Do any of you mention that? At all? No. No. <laughs> you don't know. Tim might be like, oh yeah. Who knows? Anyway. <laughs> so he pushes you all out of the demiplane. He walks out. He shuts the door. Or, yeah, he, he basically shut. He basically zips up reality again, and it. There we go. Now that you've seen a very private room, we're going to a really public room. In about three, two, one, and he snaps his fingers, and you're still in the tavern. Three, two, one. He's still snapping his fingers. It's like. Why isn't this working? The metal wizard, Tim. Biriel said that, right? Yes. He groans and turns to you, looking very scary. It was a joke. It was a joke. I am the definition of a wizard. You shut your fucking little mouth, you little bitch. Can't take a joke, God. If I remember correctly, you got knocked out by a bunch of psionic illusions four times. What, you never been knocked out by psionic illusions? No. Because I'm not rude or crude or dumb like you. Guess we're gonna have to. I don't go know to about dumb, but I know about rude. <sighs> he points a finger at you and he says, "Die." Nothing happens. The hell. Oh fuck. <laughs> I bet you're back at square one. Awesome. I guess someone decided to use an additional spell before they became me. I'm something a little worse now. What's 100 divided by 9 again? Uh, 
I. So round down. <sighs> Damn it. Well, I can't do any of my high level spells anymore because those are gone temporarily. Huzzah. Well, we're gonna go take a boat to wherever. I knew it. Back at square one. Not square one, square eleven. It's still two ones. <laughs> All right. So, at least this robe of mine is just like the previous one you all saw. So Incredibly take, powerful artifact. <clears throat> not an artifact, it's just a robe of holding. And a robe of... You ever heard stories of how an, a group of adventurers could carry an infinite number of stuff than that just that they always had access to? Yeah. <laughs> I.e. the video game trope where... Even though the party's miles apart, they can still use the weapons that they had 40 year, forty hours ago. The robe's the same thing. Alright. So, let's, let's get on this. I'll, let's head down to the docks. Which one was you as sailor again? Me. Awesome. You can get us on a boat cheap. And indeed you do. You find a boat. And it's your old captain, a minotaur woman. And you know her. She's very... She's she's nice, but firm in how she treats the crew. And she's also has... Well... <clears throat> hmm, how do I say this delicately? Huge horns. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. She does actually have monstrative horns as well. But, you know, it's to be expected, you know. It's a cow, it's a half cow, half man creature. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so you get on the boat, she welcomes you aboard. Tim is like um I can't do anything for the ship, which you guys can pretty much guess is a blatant lie, but <laughs> because he basically did like 11 points, he just like, he gave Biriel a black eye without even doing anything. <laughs> yeah. Tim, appro approving wife beating, or approving the beating of women for over 10,000 years. No, he doesn't, kids. Hitting a woman is a bad thing unless she hits you first or is trying to murder you. Anyway. So, you get on the boat. Captain Taya, the Minotaur woman, is basically getting your asses to work. Tim's just helping navigate because that's something he can do because, you know, wizards are smart. At least that's the stereotype. Why am I... No, oh, why did I have that on when Skype has a little... Alright, so you find some... So, the, on about halfway out from... away from Fort Draken, you see some jetsam in the water. And on top of this jetsam, you see a woman. Beautiful woman. You see the crew going to rescue the woman, and you hear Tim yell out, Don't put her on, don't bring her on board. You'll be sorry. <laughs> I'm like, fuck that guy. Is it a Sarah? No. I've never seen one. It could be. Me? Well, could be. Do you want to bring her aboard, or do you just want to... No. <laughs> I 
Well, let's see how well Tim actually persuades the crew to not do what he says, or and all of you. Oh my god. That's a one. Oh boy. <laughs> and they're like, fuck you, old... <laughs> <laughs> okay, then I stop, I stopped him because I. I no, 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 I no, 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 no. Tim rolled a one, so basically. But I before I beforehand was already thinking this. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but Tim's argument for why was basically weak. Like I've seen, it was, like I've seen this before. Don't do it. It's gonna. It was like Willy Wonka in. The, it's like no, stop! Don't do it. <laughs> but yeah okay so do you bring her aboard or do you leave her out in the sea leave her out in the sea does the rest of the party agree maybe call out to her who are you she's out cold at least that's how she appears her breathing oh, her don't have time to ritual cast anything. So. No, if if you don't if you don't have the time to do that, seeing as how the ship's moving, I can just use a spell slot to cast detect magic. Okay, so you use a spell slot, and you can see that she is that there's a magical aura around her. But it seems she did not get on this boat. On this Do ship. I have any sense of what kind of magic it might be? Um, I'm trying to remember. Like, um, shit. What's the? Uh, it's not necromancy. God no. Some sort of illusion or transmutation magic. What's all yourself? Uh, I think that's transmutation. Yeah. Oh. Alter, Alter self. self is transmutation. Okay, yeah. Yes. So it's a it's a form of uh, transmutation magic, and beside her is a seal pelt. Looks like she's. There's something strange about this. She's definitely not what she seems. Well. So, do you bring her and yet aboard? And again, I emphasize, not on this boat. So, do you... I think it warrants... I think God it warrants an investigation. Alright. This... The woman wakes up and says, I need food and clothes. Please help she reaches up. What's your name? Area. Uh, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I want to roll deception. I mean, not deception. Insight. All right, do it. Oh God. <laughs> God damn it. She just seems like a scared young woman. No, 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 that's something She's on the just... ship already, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna go with you guys pull her up. Okay. Hand on my dagger. Some of you guys are just gonna be like, oh shit. You know what this is? <laughs> So, as you pull her up, you know, one of the crew members brings her, her warm clothes. Do you ask any questions or anything? Nope. Okay. Do you remember anything? We found you just, like, floating there. I was, I was on a ship, much like this one, and then the crew attacked me for no apparent reason. They said I was some sort of sea demon. I don't know why. She starts crying. Is she telling the truth? Yeah, she's telling the truth. Agarbawa, Dinosaur. 
exactly who you are. <laughs> Would it be a history check to see if I know of anything like this? Sure. Roll. God. Yup. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you've heard of this story before. Sometimes um, a mysterious person... Actually, you know what? You get a plus two on those on those history checks. So, 18. <sighs> All right. Yeah, you've heard of this. This could this is a, a tactic used by um, something called a sea hag and Celties. Okay, I'm gonna whisper that to my two uh, to your friends. Patrons. Yeah. So that they're aware not to cause a massive panic on the ship, so she doesn't get set off. Oh. Okay, well then I pull Tim into this, and I'm like, okay, can somebody uncast this transmutation thing that... Tim tries to spell. cast a spell, and he's... Oh, nope. sorry. Well, I'm a data fan. Alright. Alright, um, anybody's gonna roll like in... You don't... Where's my pelt? She starts... Looking for the Why does your pelt matter? It's important to me. It was my mother's. And she... Well, it was a gift. Remember the history check Gilm rolled. It was a. It was a. This is a tactic used by both. Sea hags and Celties. Nobody's going to roll history check on what a Celtie is or a sea hag. I we have to we have to roll to know what a sea hag and a Celtie. We're adventurers. Well, you know what a you know what a sea hag is. It's a basically a hag. I don't know what a Celtie is. That's that was yeah. something I would have to look at. You know so. that there's that these are two. Okay, and I'm still giving you a plus two because. Okay, Gilm. Gilm knows everything. <laughs> yeah, Gilm. Um, a Celti is basically a uh, a sea. It's a it's a uh, it's a being that where it's a generally a female. Its song can heal. And it's known to frequent the waters in the form of a seal. Fishermen often try and marry them because they are marry seals. No, 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 selties. Oh, okay. They, That's they can trans. That's weird. Their, their form of transformation is a seal pelt. Okay. Okay. Wait. Um. Do I see the pelt? It's still on the jetsam. The the rope is still there. Oh. You it's not gonna be easy to grab a pelt with a rope. Well, you can throw the rope overboard and scurry down the rope pick up the pelt and give it to the woman whom is cold, wet, and shivering, and mostly naked. I don't, the thing is, I don't trust her. Will be athletics. <laughs> oh, God. 
<laughs> How heavy of armor are you wearing? Uh, none. Oh, okay. <laughs> you fall into the water. <laughs> I jump in there. God damn it. Uh, make another athletics check to tread water. <laughs> you hear one of the the ship men yell, "Man over, gnome overboard!" Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, I I jump in there. I'm I like, make an idiot. athletics check. <laughs> For what? To jump in? Yeah, to dive in and not hit the little raft the woman was on. Okay. Hold up. Yes. God damn! What the fuck? <laughs> you um, you you dive in. You make a big splash, and you are you scrape like your belly across. Um, some of the wood, and now your blood is in the water. I'm going to. I have 50 feet of silk rope. I'm going to throw that to them and tie it off on the ship. <laughs> I'm. I, I just want to climb this. Climb this because I'm like, yo, I, I. I messed up on that part also. But like you, you, I told you not to grab this fucking pelt. Do you, do you have the pelt? You feel you feel some sort of uh, sandpapery thing rub up against your leg. Dariel? Sandpaper? Yeah. I look down. There's about a few sharks down below you. Would I be able to, if I just kind of kicked a foot out, touch the side of the boat? You're right next to the boat, basically. Okay, you well, are we both right next to the boat? Basically, yes. You are like okay. uh, between you and the boat is the raft the woman was on, and there okay, are yeah. now I more see. sharks showing up. Can I and for climbing? Can I do acrobatic? Uh, are you a thief? I'm a rogue. Yeah, but what archetype did you go for? Uh, Swashbuckler. Oh. Seeing as how you're a swashbuckler, I'm just gonna say, yeah, you can go. You you just climb. Do you take the pelt with you? And I'm, I'm like, don't grab that pelt. I grab the pelt and cast spider climb on myself and walk up the side of the ship back onto it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. I will, I will kill you. <laughs> it. And it looks like a full seal pelt too, like, and it's really big seal pelt too. It looks like a a full grown human could wear this, and you know, like a seal cosplay thing. I will walk the seal pelt back up and drape it over the woman's shoulders if I can use that. Hand. <laughs> um, she's. Well, you do so, and she turns into a seal. What? Well then. It's a selfie that you've discovered. Biriel, um, as you're getting up, a shark... (laughs) nearly bites your foot off as you are climbing up the side of the boat. I oh. give him the finger. Fuck you. <laughs> if a shark could growl, it would. But now there's a horde of sharks. Oh. Tim pulls out of his... You know that magician trick where, he pull, where he's got a single... You think it's a single handkerchief and he starts... <laughs> Pulling the extra handkerchief? Yes. Yeah. He's just, damn it. The one day. The one day. <sighs> he pulls out so many and he pulling out. And it looks like a pair of boxers are the last one. Huh. Ah! Why is there a draft? <laughs> one of the crew members. <laughs> Tim quickly throws that I'm overboard. Go, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. 
<laughs> yeah, you're you are dying actually because you're you're bleeding profusely. <laughs> you're oh, losing oh, I, about a hit I point can't... a minute. <laughs> Wait, what? You can't... You're That's bleeding. You're bleeding out. It cauterizes. I cast Heal Word on myself. Healing Word? Healing Word. which And the Healing Word is... Okay, you funny. stop the bleeding and you heal for roll 1d4 plus your spellcasting okay. modifier. Uh, we don't... I believe that's how it works, right? It's one d four plus your casting mo- plus your spell casting modifier. Yeah, I think so. All right. Healing word. Eight. Okay. Uh, you're almost back to normal, and you're down one spell slot. Hard to believe that's an evocation spell, huh? You think that would be like necromancy or something because of what it deals with life and death magic? Anyway. Yeah, but I think for necromancy, it's more towards death instead of life. Well, what do you call resurrection and true resurrection? That's the dead being brought back to life. Anyway. Huh. Tim pulls this, the, the, uh, stealthy, um, skin off and he hands her the this long like 50 foot worth of handkerchiefs all tied together to her here this should dry you off thank you mm. thank you El. thank you dwarf <laughs> oh god <laughs> Tim doesn't. Tim doesn't look mad. He just looks dejected. It's like I'm not a dwarf, though. <laughs> I'm an elf. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I like him now. It's fine. Shut up, shark bait. I Tim goes back. Shark, <laughs> Tim just goes back to navigating the boat. Captain, uh, what, what was her name again? Taya. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all right, enough of this. She helps the Celtie woman up and brings her towards her cabin. And you can rest in here, be fine, yada yada yada. All right. Well, have a stowaway. Now, so let's get back to... Alright, so the rest of the day, there's nothing more going on here. Yay. Everybody's fine. So yeah, your little identify, you know, detect magic was basically detecting, oh, her natural ability to transform into a seal. Yeah. That's funny. A seal. Well, it's actually a real mythological creature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never, I never heard of them. They're from Irish mythology, just like Kelpies. Ah. If you ever want to ge- find out something horrifyingly terrifying, look up Kelpies. They are, they're uber friendly horses that like to eat everything about a human body except the liver and heart. And they look like horses. Very beautiful horses. So how much time are we on the boat? Well, the boat was here. Like, uh, where is it? Boat was there. How long there. would that take? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, where do we where did we sail from? Fort Draken. Fort Draken. So oh, forever. Tim says, with my navigation, it'll take us about a week. And Taya says, that that's too long. My navigation, so it'll take us three days. 
Tim looks at her like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, is it, it? Can we move that fast in, in this one? <laughs> Captain Taya grins. We don't need to. Who says we're traveling on water? Who says we're going to travel yeah. on water? Oh. Water? Where we're going, we don't need water. <laughs> and you then see the crew go, really? Yeah! And they start climbing up the rigging, getting the ship all ready and stuff. And... She's not. This is all in character. No, I don't believe it. Who What's is going on? Who Out is, of character, I assume I help. Like, make you this know work. what this. You know what this is going on, man. You know what's going I on. I was like, on the crew as a mechanic. Yeah, you know what's happening. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> the masts get pulled down into the ship, and the deck opens up. Tim is amazed by this too, and more not like "Wow, I've never seen this before," but more like "Wow, I'm intrigued." Like, how did they hide this? <gasps> oh shit! <clears throat> A ring appears around the ship as the ship starts to take off. You hear yeah. this. You hear screaming ignin coming from the ring as the ring is now on fire. <laughs> As the ship takes off from the water, or it is now flying. It's always been my dream to build my own one of these instead of just working on one. You you have all heard of sky ships, basically. You know, there there's dime a dozen, but this this is something different. This is a sky frigate. Generally, something very few people have, and it's like. It's generally made... It's basically a regular skyship that is being propelled forward by a pissed-off fire elemental completely wrapped around the outer ring there as it's being pushed forward. <laughs> Part of the high- reason why I haven't made one is it's ex- because half the people who try it die a fiery death. Yes, and it's deep... Oh, um, a new uh, plane shift did came out for uh, yeah. Kaladesh. Plane shift, Kaladesh. Yeah, where one of the um, it actually has a new sorcerer origin called the Pyromancer, yeah. which is amazing. If you, I kind of like the Phoenix Sorcerer better for that. But... I'm sorry, at 18th level with Pyromancer, you can make fire immunity to bring it down to resistance. Yeah. <laughs> so red dragons can have burn marks on their scales now. <laughs> Captain Taya is like, yes! <laughs> I knew it was worth stealing. Um, I mean, borrowing this from that merchant. Tim immediately looks at her like, yeah. Yeah, you borrowed this. So three days, go- a day goes by. <clears throat> you hear... Nothing really interesting happens. The stealthy woman is terrified because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite obvious. Yeah, everybody's. The stealthy woman is terrified. Tim is just intrigued. And at one point in time, you actually see Tim peeing off the side. On t- <laughs> there is a seagull below. He's like, ha ha, got you, you little. Rat with wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'd assume I've been working on keeping everything running. Yeah. Tia, Tia, Captain Tia is in the engine room with you, and she's like, you don't need to worry about it. We've enhanced the engine since last time you were here. Yeah, I was wondering how you kept it going without me. Well, long story short, dryads. I'm intrigued. She explains the whole process of what they did, and she's not very happy with how it went down. Basically, she bought some strange wood off of a merchant. This wood is self-healing, and it turns out the wood came from dryads. Poor dryads. 
dryads are basically like basically tree people who are fairly nice and some and most of them look like women yeah she's not happy about this but hey these things happen day two of your little adventure you're half you're a third you're two thirds of the way there on the second day you find one of the crew members just dead on the deck it's her it's her it's her I've heard one of your daggers in his back Biriel it wasn't me it wasn't me she's playing me I guess we work together on an investigation check yeah oh, I'm definitely investigating this <laughs> yeah and then one of the crew members is like this is one of her knives and pointing at Biriel throw her overboard Murder! I'll kill you. Wait, 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 wait. Serial, do oh, you man. have your knives on you? Do I have my ni- my daggers on me? You're missing one. Did I Cereal's lose it hot in the... but would not do kill li- someone for no reason. Um, okay, now I'm trying to remember. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to roll this, but did I lose one when I jumped overboard? Nope. No? You had all your daggers on you. You had them all. When I came back on? Yep. You did. Captain Taya did allow you to sleep in her quarters, too. Because you are basically the only other woman on this ship, apart from her and the Celtie. And when I woke, and and when I woke you, up, I was missing one. You didn't notice it. I didn't notice it. Yeah, because it's it's one of those smaller, like almost letter opener daggers, but still. And plus, my daggers, I care about my race and not my daggers. Yeah, but it has your, but the dagger is has, yours. Yeah, I know. Okay, okay. It was my investigation. Oh, um, you you and you know that this dagger is indeed one of Biriel's daggers. And it's in deep. We want to hire. Didn't update my proficiency to three for some reason. <clears throat> um, what is Avery? Who's Avery's character? Amadeus. Amadeus. Amadeus it's whatever. Well, so that whatever Biriel tell. Whatever Biriel notice. You, she told you, and you're like, yeah, yeah, it's your dagger, and it's in deep, like really deep, like almost. Can- the Would hilt. I be able to push that far? Maybe if the guy was like a kobold. But he's obviously not a kobold. I, I don't have the strength to do this. Yeah, interesting. So, well, there's only one person on ship who has that much strength, and everybody just like look at slow turn to Captain Taya. Who is a minotaur, and she is like she has arms like tree trunks, basically. <laughs> Captain Taya, did you? No, I didn't. Why would I have killed this man? And obviously, look at him. If I wanted to kill this man, do you think I would have left evidence of his body here? Yeah, whoever did this is an idiot. Could have. They could have just thrown the body over the Into side the of fire. the fire. <laughs> the screaming fire elemental continues wailing. <laughs> Obviously, not being happy with being made to power a ship. Well, what fire elemental was it? It, it? You just hear a screaming fire element. You just hear like screaming fire coming from the ring of fire <laughs> as it's propelling the ship forward. Okay, okay. Um, well, also, I don't think she would have been done either, because if she pushed it that far, it would have gone through. It did go through. It's literally so far into the man's back that the little guard there is almost mm-hmm. into the back as well. Oh, okay, never mind. You didn't say that. 
I did. You and just the, weren't paying attention. I didn't hear. I didn't. I didn't. I thought you said like the guard it was, was like. I, it was, was it was jabbed so far into his back that the little guard there was almost in the back as well. So it literally went through this man. But there's also something weird too. There's no blood. Now that is strange. Do any of you pull the dagger out? No, I don't touch it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Pushing the plot along. Okay, so as you pull the dagger out, the the face of the dead man goes from being a normal human to all the hair immediately starts falling out, including the beard. His lips basically curl back, showing jagged teeth, and the skin around his eyes just... He becomes a bald, eyeless being. No nose, no facial features other than a mouth. Clawed fingers as he gets up. And he grabs one of the other crew members and rips his throat out as he starts feasting on the flesh. Roll initiative. All right. Not that. Tim is in the back. He's like, whoa, shit! <laughs> That's metal. <laughs> I'd love to roll initiative, but I need a token. You can roll yeah. initiative. You don't need a token. It doesn't let us do an initiative roll right now. Yeah. Okay, give me a sec here. Okay, just go here. You could roll the number, but it wouldn't go into like the initiative bar thing. Just ignore the uh, the horrid eldritch horror monsters and the old Tim model. That's good. All right, roll. What in the hell is wrong oh, with my computer? Gilm, I'm sorry. You please roll again. I accidentally deleted yours. I thought it was the old one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how in the hell? Okay, and that's an eighteen. So. Hey, you rolled better than Amadeus. Jim is not getting involved. He's like, whoa. Never seen that before. Ah, it swipes at the creature, which is just, I'm going to have to use Tim again. Sheet. And the creature rolled a 17 plus 2 because I. Yeah, so 17, 18, 19. 19. Monster. Swipes at. Is currently feasting on the on the dying crew member who's just screaming in pain. It's like ah, get her off! So that does it for that turn. Gilm, your move. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Fireball. This creature. You don't know the fire. You don't know the ship is fireproof. <laughs> um, 
Amadeus, were you, you were the sailor, right? Yeah. Yeah, the ship isn't fireproof. But then again, fireball doesn't set things on fire, which kind of is weird when you think about it. But then again, you're adding fire into the world, and then it's being snuffed out immediately because you're taking it out, too. Because that's how magic works. Okay. Here we go. Controls. You want to, if you want to look at what this thing looks like, here you go. That's what he looks like. Minus the chains and shit. Alright. That hits. Barely. Oh wait, did you roll a natural one? Yes, he did. Okay, yeah, that misses. You actually hit the gun. You actually hit... Roll a d4. Roll d... Yeah. Okay. Is this a, doppel a doppelganger? No. No. The this is the creature that is currently eating the eating the uh, guy who is now dissolved into a pool of goop because Gilm hit the man who is being attacked. I pushed him out of the distance. <laughs> You see the creature. Know, you see the creature trying to eat the goo now. <laughs> Tim goes, "Oh my god, they're eating him, and then they're gonna eat me!" <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh goodness! You've added to troll too. <laughs> Did you know those? Did you know those actors were literally giving it their all in that too? Were they really though? Yeah, they were. They were. <laughs> I'm I, not sure. I believe that. I have never seen Troll Two either, except for that just that one scene. Has anyone seen anything other than that one scene? They're eating her, and then they're gonna eat me. Oh my god! <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, so. It's my turn. Birio. Well, yeah. you can't really kill the guy who was turned into goo because Gilm kind of did that already. Yes, he did. Do you end the. I am. Gonna move up to it, and I'm gonna. Wipe it with my rapier. All right, make an attack roll. I okay. need something good. That hits. And seeing as how the creature is not looking at you, it's going to use a reaction to increase its AC by ten. And it catches the blade without oh, even looking okay, then at you. I, no, I, I make sure I hit this. I use the favor of the gods from my new sorcerer's thing. Throw 2d4 to hopefully be able to hit it. Alright. Roll. I refuse to not. I refuse to miss. <laughs> No, she uses it later, but I don't care. So okay. 19 plus 6. You're, as it grabs the rapier, the rapier cuts off its fingers, and you hit it in the side of the head. And it hey. takes 6 piercing damage. It shrieks in pain as black blood spurts out from where its fingers were. 
and now I move back. It takes a, a lot. Wipe at you. No, I have um, I'm a swashbuckler, so I can run away as soon as I hit. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, it's not. Uh huh. Uh, what's what's it called? Hold up, let me pull it up so that way you can read it. I have the book. Fancy footwork. Oh, okay, fancy footwork. Let me check. Is that is that something you can just do all the time, or is that just like mm-hmm. once a day? No, I can do all the time. Let's see here. Paladin, Ranger, Rogue, fancy footwork. Once a turn. Once a yeah, once a turn. Yeah. So. I am behind Gil. Yeah, put yourself. You have the highest AC. Why are you hiding? Yeah. <laughs> She's a rogue. <laughs> That's why. Oh, by the way. So, I'm a yes. What do you do? All right. I'm going to start out by moving back. <laughs> You're all fucking pussies. <laughs> Tim yells. Hey, I, I have like only range attack, and then I'm gonna shoot at it. Uh, this should have one more hit than it does since my proficiency didn't get updated, so... Yeah, just... You can always go to, let's see, the gear... On this... On this, on this... Don't know... Uh... PB... Let's see... Should be three... Yeah... No, that's not what I was. None of these should have eight, fourteen, twelve. Hmm. Trust me. Yeah, I think I got a big glitch. Damn you! <laughs> yeah, you can't, like. Directly edit it from that. Should I just roll it and we'll add one to the to hit? Just assume you get a one there. You get a three. Roll your. <laughs> oh my goodness! Hit me. The creature. Sure. Still shrieking in pain. <sighs> just. It pierces your ear. And you mess up your shot. You guys suck! Hey, it's Why don't you do something? Nah, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Gil's the only one with a kill! The creature stands up. <laughs> Looks right at Birio. Oh, God. <laughs> and does exactly that. <laughs> Tackles Biriel to the ground. Yeah, Biriel. To the ground. And makes two bite attacks on her. Alright, I'm trying to remember. Um, Oh, wait. I don't need to do that. Eight plus... Where's the zombie... How much do you think a bite should do, damage-wise? From, like, this... From some sort of zombie creature... I think 2d4. 2d4? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> 6 minus 1. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> it's cute you would think that. Alright, um, here are my d4s. There's one. Wait, you just hit? You don't have to roll d20? I rolled a d20, and it was an 18. Damn it. Yeah. Sorry, I should say that more often. I should say how much? Here we are. 18, 2d4 plus 1. 
Oh, wait, no, it's just a d4. Four? Piercing, four slashing damage. And then you take plus one, and then you take an additional d4 of necrotic damage. But seeing as how you're an Azamar, you take half damage from this, right? Yep. (laughs) Necrotic doesn't work on me. And you take one point of necrotic damage total. So, six. Well, four plus five plus one, yeah. There's a a four and a two, if you want to... Make a constitution saving throw. Oh my god. I think as an Azimir, I should be good at constitution. Yeah, no. I'm not. You feel the evil from this creature seep into you, and you shake it off. It just screeches in your face. Tim I yell like him, you better not use something that could hit me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta roll a d4 for that. And on that, you see the creature's fingers just that you had sliced off grow back. And now they look like sh- sharper. They look sharper. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. So the deck hair that I pulled out of its back is that just lying on the deck somewhere? It's actually you're still holding it. Okay. And it is Burial's dagger. Okay. Well, I'm going to drop it at my feet. Put one hand next to my eyes and then kind of do a swimming motion in the hand. Casting catapult and launching the what, launching the dagger towards the. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! I can't watch. <laughs> roll. I don't want to know the roll. I don't want to know the roll. So it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh god! <laughs> the zombie needs to make a dexterity throw. <laughs> Well, that's Wait, well we're not rolling really this time. This thing was very agile, and it literally did like a parkour move over you to get to Birio. <laughs> okay, deck saving throw? Deck saving throw. Nine plus two. I think it's a nine. Um, I'm going to re-roll that because I can't tell what a nine is on this damn thing. It's either nine or six, so that's case. Four. Nope. It hits, it gets hit. Yeah, 14 bludgeoning damage. Well, nope, it's piercing damage because you threw a dagger at its back. The dagger sinks into its back and a black gore just shoots out of its mouth and lands on Burial's face. Why do this keep happening to me? Because you're an angel of angelic, be- and then you hear Seraphina. Because you are div- you were picked by a divine spirit. Oh my God! I- this isn't the time. <laughs> Don't do not worry, child. This creature can be defeated with the light and of goodness, and <laughs> lots and lots of stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Oh, okay. Um, I turn on my wing for an action. Okay. The creature does that, like, it burns kind of thing, like... Um, and I go, and I use, uh, hold up. I'll just go up here. Where is it? I use Chill Touch. This is right next. This is right on me. You do know this is a zombie. Be of some type. I didn't think of that. It, it gets half, but I, I'm worrying all my radiant damage right now that I can do. All right. It's only equal to my level. Well, actually, 
which is far. And seeing as how this is a this is a type of that's a no. I didn't think they existed on this plane. Huh. It takes double damage from the radiant, so. Can. Yeah, so it took 14 points of damage, and the creature is now, like, it has a really bad sunburn. <laughs> like, the skin is bubbling up on it. If anybody has radiant, stop doing it! Uh. I'm out of spells. You hear from Tim. I don't believe you. Fine, you want me to blow up the ship? I can do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> you hear, um, Ariel go, or not Ariel, um, you hear, uh, God damn it, Kea, oh, Captain. Oh, man. Go, wait, what? You can blow up the ship? Not a big deal. Um, <laughs> anyway, so, Amadeus, your turn. I, I need to use, use my bonus, bonus action, action to reload. Yeah, because you missed. Actually, no, you didn't miss. You hit something else. It, it was a seagull. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, no, you did one you good thing. It and it went into the fire, and now you smell chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna, after reloading, shoot at it, remembering my proficiency is still messed up. That should be 22 instead of 21. Yeah, so, yeah, you hit it. You do thunder. Oh, okay. yeah, you did do thunder monger. It looks like it's six. I mean, you just roll the top, but it's giving me plus eight, plus eight. Is it? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, oh yes, yeah. Okay. So it you should hit. still be 21, then. My proficiency bonus still says two, though. I don't know. That's kind of weird. Anyway, so you hit it in the side of the head, and it is dead and falls on top of Mario. It's black <laughs> gore just, like, oozing all over her. Given I got it with Thundermonger, shouldn't it have it just have, like, exploded at that point? You'd think that. Actually, you know what? How do you want to do this? I feel like the thunder damage would just rip its head apart. Its head explodes. Oh, its head... Its head explodes, and and the former brain matter is now smeared all over Burial's face. Pressure dissertation! Pressure dissertation! Did... Um, Tim's like, I didn't prepare that spell today, and he looks to Gilm. Gilm, did you? Huh, I, I do it all myself. myself. Oh, you have press Yes, I have press Oh, right, because you're a part sorcerer. <laughs> yeah, you clean the gore, the, the black gore off, and Tim's like, hey, can I get a sample of that? <laughs> do it yourself. And as he's going to do it, I sacred flame it. I wanted to just burn in ashes. Aww. He he does get a bit of brain of black gore brain matter and corks it. It's like this would be for a great study. But these things only come out in existence from well Ah I've heard of these things, but they only appear from like vampires. Okay, now you're just going straight from Magic Boy. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I that can... was like my thing. I know, I know. So. Zendikar. Right? Or was it Innistrad? Uh, m no, were Zendikar. Really? I thought they were Innistrad. Anyway. Huh. Who is that? Who is what? The... That I don't know. Because that was getting really fucking loud. Okay, when did I get Skype as a friend? Anyway. Huh. Well, this was a pseudo-vampire thing. 
Tim says. Who? And now it's gone forever. Huh. Well, could have been worse. Captain Taylor's like, how could it have been worse? Could have been Varghulis. What the hell's a Varghuli? Uh, you don't want to know. <clears throat> so, Tim then helps with the crew, like, pushing the remains that are still left overboard. Saying, um, looking to... And, Biriel, you hear in your head, give a prayer. But you know you can... I don't know a prayer. (sighs) Dear child, what will I do with you? And Serafina starts walking you through a prayer, and it's... Every time I'm supposed to give something sacred, I say a... I'll say a curse word of some sort. My virgin ears. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe you're a virgin. <laughs> this is Serafina, your angel buddy, whom... You hear murmuring from the rest of the crew. It's like, that is the worst Azimir I've ever seen. Do you want to go? And you hear Serafina, it's like, if you keep doing this, you're going to get fallen status. Mm, I don't want that. I like my raping damage. Well, Missy, if you keep doing this, you're going to get fallen status. Now do it right. She gets down on um. She she gets into the prayer position. Basically. Prayer position on her knees and everything. She does it properly this time. Mm-hmm. Oh dear, no. You were an ass, but it's okay. No. It was because no. some vampire did something. I don't know what. No, 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 no. His name was Jimmy, you bitch. <gasps> the no? It was Jimmy. Whatever you say. Oh, Jimmy. Somebody turned you into a vampire. I think he's still on this ship. Or she, Tim says. Or she. Oh, she! Where is she? (laughs) And I'm looking for the... You're looking for the selfie? The selfie. I'm looking for her. She's asleep. Like a madman. She's asleep in the... Last time you remember, she was still in Captain Teo's cabin, sleeping peacefully. I burst into that that room. Still asleep. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she's faking it. God damn it. She wakes up. It's like, what happened? What's going on? And I just start examining her, like, opening her mouth, like, is there anything in there? <laughs> what are you doing? And she, she, she... Get away! And she... She, she smacks you. <laughs> I don't trust you. Pointing at her. Is the silver used for the coinage a extremely pure silver? It's... It's... <laughs> It has some other things mixed in with it, but for the most part, it is pure silver. Okay. Mainly magical components like residu- like uh, like residuum kind of stuff. Like you can actually see it in the uh, lettering on the coin, the not- the Nadian coins, basically. Okay. If you wanted to make a weapon out of it, yes, you can. Just a reminder, it's going to cost you the. It's, you're going to lose those coins. Unless I just wanted to transmute my dagger into silver. 
Oh, that's right. That's what you are, isn't it? <laughs> Your transmuter. And I mean, if anyone wanted to say bullets made of silver, I could probably manage that myself, although transmuting is easier. You know, you could make a modification to your little bag of bullets there to make them silver yeah. bullets. Yeah, I could. Well, are we back on the water again? I'd really like to leave. I don't like being in the sky. This is the uh, salty woman. Whom has not given out her name. Oh, wait, yeah, she did. Ariel. My bad. Yeah. When you ask her to uh, take a silver coin out of a pouch and break it on one of the common ones using the magical coin system. Yeah, 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 yeah. And ask her to just hold on to it for a second. Okay. Just it doesn't do anything in her hand. She's just... It doesn't look like it does anything to her. Can you do that to everybody? Can, yes. Do it. Do you go to Tim? Yes. Okay. Okay, so at Tim, he, he knows what you're doing, and he's like, okay, he's like, I'm not a vampire. If I was a vampire, I'd be bursting into flames right about now. And the second you put the coin on, he starts freaking out. Like, ah, 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 nothing. <laughs> he's like... Was the performance good, or was it bad? Let's... Like, what do you mean by good? Like, he actually made you believe? He, or? he pulled it off. We, we thought he was real, but then he's like, nah. Well, performance. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if he rolls bad on this, you actually going to believe, like, he's actually a vampire. And... Oh, fuck. That's a two. <laughs> we wouldn't believe him. He rolled yeah, if a he two. Rolls good. It was a two, so you actually do think he's a vampire now. <laughs> no, I, for, for what I was in, in, in... You don't believe the lie. You think... It's like, nah, I'm not a vampire. You think that was a lie. Uh, an obvious lie, because he rolled a two plus... Well, I would roll insight for that. Alright, roll insight. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was fucking with you guys. <laughs> But he did a terrible job. It's like the rest of the crew is like... He was like, it was truthful, but then it was a lie. God he, damn it. He went, he went a little too far, starting growing fangs and stuff, getting vertical slit pupils, and making fire come off of his skin, and then he's like, nah, just ended it. <laughs> but yeah, it was so close to a 20. It was on 20, and then it went to 2. <laughs> You see one of the crew members get like a little bliss, a little rash on him, but it, it's like it's it's a kind of rash that's like itchy, but it doesn't look like any form of like vampirism. He's just like Ugh, itchy, you know, because some people. I get, keep a note on him. Keep a note of him. Okay. James has an allergy to practically anything. You, like, you see one of the crew then members he just be like, out on the sea. You see one of the crew members just take his fingernail and just like write like Jim on his name on his arm, and the skin literally raises up. Jim. While this is going on, I'm going to ritual cast detect magic. See if I can. The um. The ship beams with magic, and Tim is once again like a f fucking star. I'm gonna look away from Tim. Can. You see the Selty woman's <coughs> seal cloak, and you still see that transmutation magic on her. And 
you see transmutation? Yeah, there's... There's somebody can figure it out! Yeah. Somebody could roll. Can I make an Arcana check? Yeah. Oh. Baby, that is obviously an Alter Self spell. But why would a Celtie have Alter Self on herself when she can just transform into a seal anytime she wants? Hmm. I don't tell everyone yet. I want to see what else is going on if anyone else is putting out magic. Well, you, you see the fire elemental being pissed off. <laughs> Yeah. As it's swirling around. <laughs> Nobody else really gives off a really strong magical aura that you can really detect. Like that's that wouldn't be beyond like inherent natural na naturally magical talent that anybody could achieve. You see one guy who has a who is like this dragon tattoo that just goes from his forearm all the way up into his chest. That that shines a little magic. Jake, but I'm going to ask him about the tattoo. Oh, this is a dragon mark. Oh yes, yeah. I've heard of those. I believe. Anybody who's read the Unearth Arcana Eberron, you know what those are. I, I have. Yeah, basically, a dragon mark is a it's basically like a magic initiate, but you get a set of like spells that are just attached to you. Do I know, know any character? Yeah, you you know this. So does Gil. Which, which house? I don't know. I forget. It's. I don't use it very much, so I don't really care to have it. If anything, I'd want it gone. But you know that once you get this, you're stuck with it forever. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no way to get rid of it. So unless you know, you know a god or the wish spell or Dungeon Master's tired of your shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's based, right, so uh, yeah. It's no one here seems particularly magical. Apart from... Besides the Selkie, who seems to be using Alter Self, which is confusing. Can anybody undo that? Anybody who knows, dispel magic. I... Tim! What? Come hither. Please. Why are you talking like an old fogey? Just come here, goodness. You're not my mother. Tim, for heaven's sake. This I know isn't you. the time. Serafina chimes in. I know of this man. He can be difficult. But you will make him see the light. Oh my goodness. And so I, I want to just put us all in like a group huddle and like, I'm like, Tim, I need you to do something for us because I still don't trust I'm not this. sleeping with you. Oh my God. Nobody wants to sleep with you. Listen. You'd be surprised. I've been getting some nice looks from the captain. <laughs> I, I don't care what you and her have, okay? I really don't. But what you need to do is you need to dispel whatever that woman is doing. Uh, what woman? Yeah, the 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 um, the sea lady. The selkie. Yes, that's what she is. You weren't very. Br you were never really bright, were you? No. Uh, I s saved you, resurrected you, and uh, well, fine. Fine, but here's the thing. You guys are going to deal with the problem. I'm just going to be out. <laughs> the moment I cast okay. a spell. Fine, we will deal with it. 
but I don't have it currently prepared, so... Tomorrow? Gilm chimes in. He's like, yeah, he, we, we have to wait a day. If he doesn't have the spell prepared, you have to wait a day. Okay. So. Okay. We'll wait a day. We'll take ships watching her. Uh, if you if you do that, you're not going to get a full night's rest. No, yes, we will. We, we uh, okay, get off fine. at... Yeah, but here's correctly. the thing, though. Captain, um... Uh, so, the last night of... The night you in the night you see you see Captain Taya like pulling Tim into her quarters like where are we going <laughs> <laughs> and she boots you and the Celtic out. You hear a lot of groaning oh, dad. coming. Oh, dad. Oh, god. Oh, god. I'm covering my ears. Oh, god. Oh. 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 Ow. Oh. 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 Ow, that doesn't bend that way. <laughs> the whole crew hears this. It's like, what the fuck is going on? It's... Is the captain murdering him? Uh 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 uh. There's something far, far worse. <laughs> you hear a loud snap, like a twig is, uh, like, like a tree branch has been broken in two. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. You you hear the door to the cabin open up, and it's just. <laughs> Who was that? It wasn't me. Oh, whoever did that, whoever did that was awesome. You see, as the rest of the crew peeks their head up from below deck, they see Tim just fully, still fully clothed, by the way. Uh, just crawling out of the chambers. Uh, God. Uh. By Io's beard. Uh. What happened? She gave the best massage I'd ever had. Uh. Tim is almost like liquid at this point. He's like, ugh. And Tim just starts sleeping. On the deck. Meanwhile, the fire elemental has apparently learned common. He's like, you motherfuckers are gone! I'll burn you alive! Ah! You're kind of trapped there. You're not burning anyone. I will burn you all when I get the chance! <laughs> Look, if I need to, I could probably reinforce the binding spell, and I don't think you want that. Fuck you! <laughs> uh, Captain Taya walks out of her chambers. I knew humans, I knew elves were weak. Oh. You're the first one who called him an elf. Why? What? Is he a dwarf or something? Not a dwarf. Ugh. It's because he looks like a dwarf. Look at him. No, he's he's, he's tall like an elf. He acts like a dwarf. And no. he's tubby like a dwarf. Uh, In elf terms. Dwarf. Ugh. Oh, you big baby. I didn't know. I didn't do you very hard. Oh. Everything's loose. <laughs> uh, so, the next day, Tim wakes up and he feels 
he's in a much better mood. Oh, cracking his neck. It's he's almost like a cat now, and in, in how how we've all seen cats. They're basically liquid, right? Yeah. <laughs> Tim is basically like, wow, I've never felt this loose in years. You see him almost turn his body in almost 180 degrees. All right. All right, Tim, do it. Oh, right. Um, He does dispel magic on her. And... Voila! It is a sea hag! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Stop at her! Okay, roll initiative! One second. I go first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Remember, natural 20s don't mean anything when. God. Okay. Are you all looking at her? I was. So. Tim doesn't really. Tim had his eyes closed. Oh, give me a sec here. I gotta find. I gotta find. Find Sea Hag again. Thundermonger is supposed to be 2d6 at fifth level. I'm Whatever. It's dead. Okay, it's dead. You, the the null is dead. The null is dead, but it could have <laughs> died dead sooner. <laughs> well, S. Yes. When I go into the edit mode, it shows it as two d six. But when I go out of the edit mode, it still shows it as one d six. Then just do what I do. Just add another d six. No, just slash r. 2d6. Just gonna see, like. There, that's what I do. Just gonna see what it does when I. Ah, 179. Uh, yeah, it's counting 2d6. It's just not displaying it correctly on the character sheet. Oh, hag. Sea hag! Yep. Here we go. Alright. You're all, you're all pretty much looking at her because, all right, make wisdom saving throws. Oh, for love of... (laughs) Haha, I rolled high for one. All right, uh, Gilm and Biriel, you are all frightened of her. Tim yells out, don't look at her, she can kill ya! Somehow sounding even more Scottish. Now. <laughs> if you're scared of her, she can kill you. All right. And seeing as how you two are frightened, you have to make. You can't take any actions to go towards her. And you have disadvantage on attack rolls when you look at her. And for her initiative, she rolls a four. (laughs) Plus one, Uh, that's a five. So, you all rolled initiative, right? Yep. Yes, we did. Okay. So, Gillen, what do you do? You have all your spells back, you're fully healed, and all that jazz. And you're pissing yourself you know, out of fear. Roll with disadvantage. Slowly 
used to be attacked twice to do the two rolls, or...? You can do dis... There is a disadvantage little slider at the top in your little sheet. That... misses. Well, it hits, but it doesn't set... It doesn't... It doesn't hurt her. She's like... Yeah. Is that the best you've got, tiny thing? Oh shit! You're a you're 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 a gnome. Yes. Remember what gnomes get on magical effects? No, but I know something. It's advantage <laughs> on intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws that involve magic. This constitutes as magic. So. Roll again, I guess. <laughs> that was a one of the So it would You still fail. Yeah. Well, there you go. Still fail. Yeah, you're still frightened of her. Okay, Amadeus, what do you do? I, out of order, it would be Burial than me. Oh, right. Whatever. Burial, what do you do? Oh, right. Gilm, right. do your saving throw again. Wisdom. Yeah, wisdom, because, you know, at the end of your turn, you don't have disadvantage on this roll, though. You have advantage. You have advantage? Yeah, he has advantage for the saving throw, because he's saving to get out of this frightened status. <laughs> okay, you're no longer frightened. I have disadvantage, too. So, um... And you can't make movement towards her, either. Yes, I knew he did. Oh. And... I'm gonna do a sacred flame. Okay. That's a dex save, right? Yes. Alright. Dex save of 14. Eleven plus one plus three superficial index three four plus yeah she that misses she dodges out of the way and you and she takes damage. no damage. Okay, and wisdom. Okay, wisdom saving throw. Through. Okay, you are no longer. Mm hmm. Oh, with disadvantage. Why? Because you're you are looking at her. So just throw it again. Yeah. It's gonna be low. Oh, shit. God. Okay. Uh, Gil, you are immune to this, to this, to her ugliness for 24 hours. Awesome. All right. All right, Burial, you've done your turn, right? Uh-huh. All right, Amadeus! All right. As usual, I will start by backing away. Then I'll shoot at her. All right. My turns are pretty formulaic, to be honest. <laughs> the bullet hits her right between the eyes, and... Right. And that's all you do? Yeah. Okay, it's her turn. She looks to Biriel, and she glares at you with such anger and hatred. Make a wisdom saving throw. I hate wisdom saving throws. 
Do I have to still roll at disadvantage? Um, let's see. Must succeed. Uh, no, doesn't say. Normal. <laughs> Okay, how do, okay, so hmm, that is you fail. You're dead. Your HP drops to zero and you are dead. Well Well you're you're at zero, so you're unconscious. So Oh damn it! Shit! It always happens. Yeah. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait. Um, I'm going to use my favorite of the gods again to roll 2d4. Alright. This is a new day, because this is important. <laughs> yes, it is. You that are not dead, but you are still scared of her. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I knew I could have done something. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Not me, that sounds pretty good. Yes, it has. Good. Doom! You are no longer afraid. Oh, okay. Acid arrow your friends. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Um, That's why I'm standing like behind you. Know. <laughs> Burial, remember, your Burial. HP should be back up to normal. Because it is a new back up, day. Yeah, I already, I already put up a uh, normal. Alright. Still saying 34 for this, but whatever. Gil, what do you do? I am going to. Tim has backed out of the way. <laughs> um. <laughs> I will. Wow. Pull my dagger out of my pocket, toss it on the ground, and leave that in the end, catapult. You seem to like, like that, that strategy. strategy. I do, it works very well, actually. Alright. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait, her AC is 15. My bad. So that is a dex saving throw of 16. Okay. She has proficient, so that's plus 3, plus 2. And five. She rolls a fifteen. She dodges out of the way. And seeing as how basically Buriel is in Buriel, make a dex saving throw. <laughs> And this is for piercing damage because you're, you threw a dagger. He was making a death saving throw? You! Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you have a normal roll for this. And it will only do 8 damage if you fail. Look, I've made it. Thank God. <laughs> of course, I have to do that. <laughs> It sticks really deep into the wood of the ship. Tim hears this. You tried to kill Burial, didn't you? On purpose. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. She is kind of abrasive. Okay. Burial, what do you do? Uh, she's right on me, isn't she? Yes. And glaring at you intensely. Okay, um... I'm gonna unleash my wings again. Since it's already a new day. And I am... going to do another Sacred Flame. Alright. Still at disadvantage, right? No, no, this is a, this nope. is a saving throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five plus five, that's ten, and she gets hit for six radiant damage from the sacred flame. Plus another five. Oh, because uh, I'm hit with a spell. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Isn't that for like a minute or something? Yes. 
I didn't know Sacred Flame was an abdication spell. Alright. So she takes 11. I believe that's the only damage she's taken thus far. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one hitting. So. Let's... Oh, and I need to roll. Weird. One second. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, disadvantage. Mm hmm. Roll again. Oh, my God! You're still frightened of her. If she wants, yeah. But she's right up on it, so if she moves, attack of opportunity. Well, I, I wouldn't take attack of opportunity since I am a slush, a slush buckler. You have to hit it with a melee attack, I did? right? Oh, it has to be a melee attack? Yes, I not sure. <laughs> yes, uh, of course it has to be a melee attack. <laughs> oh, yeah, melee. Okay, no, I'm not moving. Well, I wouldn't move anyway. You're paralyzed with you fear. I'm a What do you do? <laughs> I reload then shoot it. <laughs> okay. You know what'd be fun to do with with one of your bullets, seeing as how you can infuse magic into items. Can you learn like an <laughs> offensive? Shoot someone with your wounds. <laughs> no, 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 not that. Oh, uh, Biriel was. Oh, you already did your saving throw to save against the fear. Okay. As long as that I don't get, like, offensive cells. So, like, yeah, that's what I was going to suggest. Like, oh, you could put fireball on one of your bullets. and then That'd be so cool, but I can't get fireball. <laughs> no, it has to be his own spells. Yeah, it uses my spell slot. <laughs> that would be amazing, though. You think about it, it's just like, boom! <laughs> yeah, I'll just shoot someone with, like, uh, m meteor swarm. Oh, God. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So, she takes 12 plus minus 12 minus 8. Ooh, wait a minute. I got 12 minus 8. She looks bad. <sighs> okay, that's your turn? Yep. Alright. She looks at you again. Oh, Furiel. God, not again. Make a wisdom saving throw. I swear to God. If I roll low again. This is it, guys. I mean, yeah. I have to... <laughs> This is it. Your, ain't your wings... They glow... And you... They start to glow, the feathers fall, hitting the ground, bursting into light, and your friend's unconscious. Slash, you don't know, she might be dead. And then she turns to you, Amadeus, and growls okay. as she then, let's see, how far is this? Um, oh yeah, she get there. Boom! And you know what? DM monster, making a call. She's gonna hit you with one of her claws. Okay. Uh, what's your AC? Oh, fifteen. Yeah. 17. That hits. Four, she half. takes... You take 2d6 plus 3 slashing damage. 3. 9. 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. She, she gives, like, a big... Slash mark across your face and it's bleeding. <sighs> Shoot me, will you? <sighs> yes. Alright, uh, Gilm. 
How are you going to try and hurt your friends this time? And how many hits Okay. Is that? <laughs> how many darts is that exactly? Is that... Okay, roll... Are they all going to hit the the uh, bitch, or are you going to target one of your friends? <laughs> so roll 5d4 plus... I think five? Yes. Yeah. Plus five. Oh, shit. Okay. She is... You see, like... Like, what looks like seawater coming out of her... Out of the skin and the wounds that she has. Her eyes look even more bloodshot than normal. And then... uh, Buriel, you're... Dead. Make a death saving throw. throw. Death saving throw. Death saves. Two. God damn it. That's a fail. (laughs) And seeing as how you're dead, you're no longer afraid of her, so you're fine. (laughs) Yeah, that's a plus. (laughs) This is the first time I've ever killed somebody with a sea hag just using death glare. Because normally the DC is so fucking low. I only increased it by one. <laughs> Amadeus, what do you do? Um, let's see. What's your strength modifier? Low. Like minuses or? Minus, minus one. one. You'll still do one point of damage. So, I mean... I I couldn't still shoot from this distance. At disadvantage. Which I... Uh, I don't believe there is disadvantage on shooting from close range. Yes, there is, actually. Uh, Yeah. Well, for a crossbow and a bow, it would. It makes sense. But for a gun, it shouldn't. It doesn't really make sense. For a gun, it shouldn't. It it makes zero sense. Fine, I'll just give you a minus two. Okay. Okay. Because so, it's not a it's not a handgun, it's a rifle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That no, that makes more sense. Yeah. So, so you have this. Well, like I, do you two. want what what would make more sense? A minus two because it's a rifle or a disadvantage? I think a minus two will make will be better. Yeah. Because, because it's, you still can just pull it back. Where's five feet? It's not. I I have yeah. room to point the rifle at it. Alright, alright. Okay. Yeah. So. Just imagine if you roll badly, though. <laughs> roll! To see if you hit her. So that's a 20. Yeah. Simple. She tries to move the barrel out of the way, but you force it into her face and. <laughs> More exploding heads. This time, not in my face. Somehow, seawater slaps you in the face. (laughs) Her dying breaths are... her, her, The last few words you hear from her are, You may have killed me. You may have killed Ariel. My sisters will come for thee. Fear them. And her body just turns into basically seawater, and her hair is seaweed, and have you. We should probably go help Gariel now. You know, Amadeus, you should have picked the Tim still having his eyes closed, and he's not even pointing at you. He's just pointing in some random direction. Amadeus, you should have been the medic artificer. <laughs> Potions are boring. But they're helpful. <laughs> By the way, at that point in time, she had two HP left. 
I assume so. I thought it, I assumed it was one or two. It was two. <laughs> it's like if that. Damn, man. But like my my melee attacks have they're plus six to hit with the thundermonger. All my melee attacks are plus three. So even with the minus two. It's no, 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 you wouldn't have had the minus two with the melee attack. If you, no, were, you, you were going to... The rage if you were going with to, the minus two is still a higher modifier to hit than, like, my hand axe or light hammer. Or your or the butt of your gun. Yeah, and all of those have minus remember one the damage. Remember the goblin so you accidentally nothing. killed? <laughs> yeah. But, like, I could have rolled a one on a d6 and just done nothing to it, so... Well, you would have done one damage. That's that's the thing. You you'll never do minus damage. It's like you yeah. heal her for somehow you strike her with your sword and the wound that you meant to do actually heals up. You can close it somehow. You accidentally suture the wound closed with your sword and a piece of thread. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. You hear a strange goblin-y voice ring out. Ah, she failed. She failed, she failed, she failed. Who's there? Am I up yet? Do you have, um, Tim puts up healing bottle in your mouth and you heal for you heal back up how much uh 2d4 plus 2 I believe it's the normal healing potion I'll roll it boom trying to find it I'm trying no well yeah no I don't you You roll this you roll it or I roll it it doesn't matter uh, okay, never mind. 8 plus 2, you have 10 HP. 10! Even better. And I'm going to use my yeah, healing cast to heal myself for another 5. Sorry, I'm trying to find N in this in Velo's guide here. The goblin voice is just like, No, no, no! Ah! You are all supposed to die! Hmm! Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> What's speaking? You see a goblin who looks like a jester. So you're in a pink robe, just, just glaring at you all. It's like, you were supposed to die! All of you were supposed to die! <laughs> Can we? Can we please? He was over here. It's the first time you said something right. He was over here, and now he's... Yes, no, 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 no. You're all supposed to die. It's a no I run at him, and I'm about to, to punch him. Kill it to death? No, heal it to death. I would like to punt. Okay, roll an attack you can damage. Run that distance. Uh, nope, you yeah, can't. Yeah, just run. Oh, oh, right. You can. You're a, you're a rogue. You can use your bonus action to dash. So get up, get up there. <laughs> it's a hard sprint. A very hard sprint. What? That would just be like fifth, right? Yeah. <laughs> I quit it. <laughs> the, t- the kick does nothing to him. Oh, thank you. I was feeling a little weak today. Wait, why does that say spell? Fist! <laughs> because <laughs> you're... Because that's a, that's, a, that's a very good spell all muscle wizards know. It's called <laughs> Fist. <laughs> Yeah. You you see 
you when you punch him, you don't do any damage. He just grins at you. He's like, <laughs> and then he smacks you with his scepter. How close is he to the side of the ship? Falling won't hurt me. Death can't stop. Me, your feeble attempts to strike me will only be. I get healed. Ben, do you know who this is? It's a Nilbog! Heal it to death! I have hear wounds. <laughs> I have healing work! You're about to die. I am useless. <laughs> <laughs> Gnomes are all useless before me! <laughs> I'm going to run up to Rabbit and cure wounds. <laughs> Make a... Well, no, you're you're going to touch it, so... Do a... Make a... Make an attack roll. Uh, would that be with... That's this, that... I'm just going to go... You use... It's a, it's a spell, so use your spell attack modifier. Which would be your spell attack plus your proficiency bonus. Which would be spell or your intelligence modifier plus your spell attack modifier. Yeah, you hit Um, and roll for how much... What level do you heal him at? I only have first level. So, 1d8 plus constitution, right? No, 1d8 plus your intelligence modifier. Plus your casting modifier. So, plus your... He screams in pain. Why would you die? Black flames erupting from his eyes. Are we still in initiative? Yes, you are. Okay, just being sure. And so, well, seeing as how the sea hag is dead, Gilm, what do you do? Also, aren't we flanking him now? So. No, you're not. Not yet. You if you were here, side. you'd be flanking him, but no. You're not. Okay. I'm not sure if I was close enough to do that. Kind of. You cantankerous artificer! I'll wring your neck with your own intestines and then sing a jumpy tune. <laughs> Apparently, the Nilbog created the sea hag. Well, I guess yeah, I'm just gonna move. Away, and then wait for people who can heal it to death to heal it to death. All right. Biriel. Healing word. Make an attack roll. Attack roll. God. Damn it! Dodge that out of the way. You hear jingling and bells. Just, and I just lost one. <laughs> I only have one spell slot left. That's wonderful. And I'm now going to see where he is on the case of seven. Seven, eight, nine, nine. So he goes before Amadeus. And he's going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter. They're on. No, 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 no. He's not going to do that. He's going to look at Biriel and say, <laughs> Oh my god. Look at you! 
all so prim and proper. But I know what you are. You're nothing but a stopper. <laughs> Make a... Okay, that's Vicious Mockery. He's a bard. He's a bard. Huh. He's a nilbog. <laughs> Nilbard? Nilbog. Nilbog, yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Back up, which is goblin backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, now you know. Page 182 in the bestiary. Yep, I'm looking at it. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. God damn it! So many wisdom saving throws. The next time I, the next time I level up to where I can use a get a feat, I'm getting a skill feat. <laughs> Don't you mean uh, resilient? Or that too. All right, intelligent saving throw. Oh, I dare you, motherfucker! Yeah. You said intelligence? No, wisdom. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Okay, good. I critted. You feel a wave of psychic energy hit you and then just wash over you and you feel nothing. Six and stones, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch and wounds from you, hag. Amadeus, what do you do? I'm gonna heal it again. Make a... Oh, first, make a charisma saving throw. Charisma. Yes. Mm. You pass. Alright. He was, he was doing some sort of weird dance. Make your attack roll. Alright. And damage. Well, you mean, how much do you heal him for? Heal. Oh, like yes. Bursting into black flames. That's how half my spell slots so far, so I can't take this up much longer. I only have one left. Oh, he's dead? Yeah, he did. Okay. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, he has a really low hit point. Yeah. But it's such a fun character to use. Okay. Captain Tay is like, well, that was weird. <gasps> Very. Um, by the Very. way, guess what? The Nilbog explodes into coins. Money! <clears throat> Here you go, start counting money. And they all have, and they're all, like, made out of tin. <laughs> with a metal Aww. finger. With a... I with throw them all overboard. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> they, they turn into doves as they fly, as they're thrown overboard. I fucking hate no bugs. <laughs> Yeah, everybody hates no bugs, even goblins. But they're, but everybody's afraid of them. All right, guess what you guys have? Tim goes into the uh, captain's quarters and pulls out the Celti, these thing. Mm -hmm. One of you can now turn. It, well. The only one who can use this is... And he looks to Biriel. What? You're the only one who can use it. 
Ski. I can become a thousand. He tosses it to you. Why would I want? Why would I want to be a seal? Well, a lot of the world is covered in water. Yeah, but I can. Oh wait. Oh. How long does this last? Uh, as long as you wear it. Um, actually, Amadeus. Huh? Amadeus. Yes. Do, do identify. I will identify it. Okay. All right. This requires attunement. It can only be attuned by a woman. So long. Yep, Muriel, you're you, the only one who can use it. When you put this, when you put this, uh, this, this seal coat on, you can use an action to polymorph into a seal lion of your choice, or a seal of some type. From Weddle, Harp, or Leopard. Uh, no, that's that's a different kind of. Those are seal lions. Seals are a little different. Um. Anyway, and you, as an action, you can then change back into a. It doesn't have a. It's just action. You stay on there for forever, and action you can come back out. Yes, once a day. Once a day. Yeah. So if you use it once, if you use so it I have now. To be a, I would have to be a seal for once a day. No, 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 no. You can. It only has this power to change and change back once a day. Oh, okay. But okay. It's, it lasts as like, long as you want. So you can stay a seal okay. for like twenty years, and then one day just poof, back. Back. Okay, uh, hold on. Claim text, text I, I underneath the identification because, you know, we, we all see this and nobody really cares. Somewhere in the world, a woman is missing this very deeply. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. And you know what? I'm going to be generous and you guys all leveled up! <laughs> Yay. Okay, so I have my mechanical servant now. Well, you don't have him yet. You have to build him. <laughs> As with all the artificer stuff, it says that I'm assuming to have been working on it for a long time and I finish it yeah. uh, during a long or short rest after I reach the level. I'm just going to so. say it's in your bag of holding, all the parts. You've been working, you got the leg, and I suggest a dire dog. I was going to go for dire wolf, and then you said once I hit level, I'd be able to get something with flying speed. Yeah. Because that doesn't seem all that fair. At 6th level? Come on, man. Druids yeah. have to wait a little longer, and... <laughs> well, the thing is and that yours is permanent, that's... too, so... Well, it can die. The thing. Yeah, so can a druid. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really gonna suck if you're flying on... If you're riding on its back, and it gets hit. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Anyway, you everybody... You probably make a new character sheet for it. Yeah, I will. Magic Zone icon and stuff. Anyway, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this we play thus far, everybody. I will see you next. We will see you next time. Have fun.